This is the first video in the Odom Institute's online introduction to LaTeX course. In this video, we'll talk about how to begin using LaTeX on your computer. To do that, we need to download two things. First, we need to download a LaTeX distribution, and second, we need to download a text editor for LaTeX. The distribution is software that takes the code and text that you write and makes it into a document. The text editor is the program that you'll actually use to create that computer code and text. There are a couple of different options for LaTeX distributions depending on the operating system that you use. For example, for Windows users, the most common distribution is MicTech, which is what we'll look at here. But there's also MacTech for Mac users and TechLive for Linux users. To download MicTech, you need to go to the MicTech project page. It's the first hit on Google if you search for MicTech. At the top of the MicTech website, you'll see a link for a download. Click that link, and you'll see a recommended download appear. Click that link to download the installer. Then save the file when the pop-up window appears. Once MicTech's been downloaded, the next step is to get a text editor to use with LaTeX. There are many different options of text editors. In fact, if you Google text editors for LaTeX, the first hit that comes up is a comparison chart on Wikipedia. And as you can see, this chart is very large, which shows you that there are many different options for text editors to use with LaTeX. The one that we're going to use is Technic Center, which is available for free at techniccenter.org. If you navigate to that website, you'll see that there's a download link at the top of the page. Click that link, then click the link for the Technic Center installer. That will bring up a page that will start your download. Technic Center is just one option, as shown by that chart of tech editors, and I encourage you to start by using it simply because it's a free and easily available editor, and then move to another one to see if something else would be better for your needs. After the setup installer has been downloaded, the next thing you need to do is navigate to the folder where the downloads or stored, and you can double click on each one to install those programs on your computer. Each of them has an installer wizard that will guide you through that process. Once you've done that, you can watch the next video in this series where we'll talk about how to get Technic Center and MicTech set up so that you can type your code in Technic Center and compile it to make a document with MicTech. Thank you.